everyone and welcome back to Cara's Tit Bits. Today I am going to do a plot tour and show you all what I've been up to around the plot in a tour. While I'm here please remember to subscribe and please remember to like because I'm sure it will be fascinating. And on we go. So greenhouse, um, it's got a little messy in here because um, obviously it's in use but I moved these down from the house, that's my marshmallow, look how good it's coming on. Managed to kill my lemon verbena off and some sage but never mind about that. Uh, more peas and bees, peas and beans so. I've moved my main yak on down here. I was a little worried because um, there was a frost last night. I got up in the night and looked out the window and there was frost. So I was worrying about the greenhouse, but things seem to be okay. I have to get going with my sweet peas. They're looking a little bit in need of repotting. Move some tomatoes here. I think they caught it just a little bit, but they're still alive. So these are kind of spares. Ocker okay, looking good. You can see my dahlias have started to come through. Can you see that? You can see my dahlias have started to come through. Very exciting. Not all of them, but a significant number. Passed up and carrots. They should have gone out ages ago, but I've not done that bed yet. So there we are. The back. A broccoli, cauliflower, and some other things I can't remember offhand, but I'm hoping I wrote on the things what they were. Brussels sprouts are down here now. The asparagus I got from Wilco. And you can see down there, we're having to move down there and hope the slugs don't find it. seem to be affected at all by in here. Maybe a little bit, but I have spares of everything if anything really does take a dislike to the cold nights. You can see my pots are absolutely loaded with berries. Quite happy with that. Peonies have been brought out. <laughs> That's a tree peony. It's got a flower forming. They're going to be planted. I meant to do it yesterday, but it just got too late. Beetroot's coming on. Uh, these did get caught out by the frost. I just left them out last night accidentally they're all right and these are all potatoes that I planted I can't remember a week ago something like that completely defunct bed Ow. broccoli is still coming on this one it's looking really good The yes please. The beans are all looking nice and alert. They don't seem to have been affected by black fly yet. Can I zoom in without turning the there we are. And slugs haven't found them yet, but it's been really dry. Looking happy down there. My carrots have decided to look happy. That's a little random pile of stuff that I'm hoping will attract the slugs rather than my vegetables. Chard is looking exceptionally happy. Now these are mo the rest of the broccoli and stuff and you can see the kale has gone to seed but I'm leaving it like that so that the 
pollinators can find it and it's really pretty. Uh, we've been eating the broccoli leaves now that they're not producing any more stalks. More chart. Raspberry has really attached itself nicely to the frame. You can see there. And we have strawberry flowers. This is an unsanctioned raspberry. It's over the line. And the other day, my assistant set, sorted this path out. So we have a nice path here now and a nice brick border to the fruit patch. Loads of flowers on the white currant, no, the white currant, yeah, the white currant, and the red currant, and the gooseberries. Along with some suckers at the bottom that I'm hoping to take cuttings from. Look, a tiny little baby. Tiny little baby. There we are. Might get gooseberries this year. The plum has just mostly finished flowering now and the frost doesn't seem to have affected it at all, which is nice. Quinn's no sign of flowers yet, I'm just hoping it's late. It only just came into blossom, not, it only just came into leaf recently, so I think it's just late this year. It was all leafed up at least a month earlier. Ooh! Is that a flower? That might be a flower for me. I don't know, we'll see. It had a big year last year, so. Now this bed's pretty much all planted up. I'm still harvesting spring onions. These are some turnips and kohlrabi that I planted out. I did do a video of it, but I've just not shown lots of things because I run out of time, basically. Garlic, it's looking so hefty, chunky, and the onions have started coming through the, there, and those are looking quite happy as well. corner that is supposed to be moved but I planted my herbs as well the ones that made it over winter uh, lemon balm winter savory marjoram mace and angelica and a little garlic chive last over here I've dug the border in a little bit it's quite solid there now and we moved these over because there was a problem with one of them and it had to be emptied and refilled so I moved it over and refilled it again so we have a little bit more space here my rhubarb looking a little bit needy at the moment that's why we took the cloche off but it'll come through all right and these are some artichokes we're planted and last but not least we've got the black back border and apple blossom we have apple blossom and cherry blossom I just need to finish this off now. Oh, I'm back into my greenhouse because there are people watering things out there. 
thank you very much for watching. Uh, if there's anything like you'd like to see, let me know because we're open to doing whatever with our plans. I'm trying to film everything, I just don't always show it because there's just not enough time. And thank you very much for watching. Watch other videos and bye for now.